Hey you, you wanna generate new images of anyone using only one single picture? Well, now you can. And it's finally available inside the Stable Diffusion Web UI. And today I'm gonna show you how. Hello humans, my name is KU Air Overload and ah, finally, there we go. Well, we didn't have to wait long for it, huh? Because indeed, the new face gen AI Instant ID is now available inside the Automatic 1111 Stable Diffusion Web UI. Woof, that's a mouthful. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, well, um, you should if you've been more watching all of my videos, but basically a week ago I made a video about Instant ID, a new face gen AI project that allows you to generate new images of your subject from a single image in a few seconds without any training. And it is just fantastic. So if you haven't watched it, definitely do it or else you might be confused in today's video. But basically this new tech is now finally implemented inside the Stable Diffusion Web UI. Now the previous video is still up to date and personally I still like to use the web interface because of how clear and easy it is set up, but if you prefer having everything inside the Stable Diffusion Web UI, well today I'm gonna show you how to install it. And to install Instant ID inside the Stable Diffusion Web UI, you of course need to install the Stable Diffusion Web UI first. So if you haven't done it, or if you really don't know what I'm talking about, I specifically made a Stable Diffusion Web UI install video that shows you step by step on how to install this onto your computer. Or if you are one of my Patreon supporters, just use the one click installer to easily install it onto your computer in one single click. So once this is done, we can finally start installing Instant ID inside the web UI. And for this you have two options. The first of course by using the one click installer that is available for my Patreon supporters. Just download the one click installer onto your computer, then drag and drop it into the Stable Diffusion web UI folder, and then double click on the installer to automatically install everything inside the web UI. And there you go, you don't need to do anything, simple as that. And the second way to install this is of course the manual installation. So first, what you need to do is to launch the webui user.bat file to launch the web UI. Then you're gonna go inside extensions. And if you haven't done it already, we're gonna install the control.net extension. So basically click on available, then load from. Then in the search bar, you're gonna search for control.net. Then you're gonna scroll down until you see sd-webui-controlnet. It is the extension with the most amount of stars. And then you're gonna click install. Once this is done, you're gonna scroll up, click installed, and you should see the extension right here. Now if you already downloaded the extension previously, you need to make sure that the extension is up to date. So for this you're gonna click on this little button that says check for updates and then you're gonna click apply and restart UI. Now it's gonna take a few time to reload the web UI and maybe download a few things or two, but what you're gonna do now is that you're actually gonna close the web UI and then you're gonna manually close the common prompt window. So the next you're gonna click on the description down below, you're gonna arrive on my hugging face repository and then you're gonna download these two files right here. Control Instant ID and IP adapter. So just click on this button right here to download these two files onto your computer. And once you've downloaded them, you're gonna select these two files, then we're gonna cut them, then inside the Stable Diffusion Web UI, we're gonna go inside the models, control net, and then you're gonna paste those two files right here. And now we can go back and relaunch the web UI user.bat file. And now finally, Instant ID is ready to be used inside Stable Diffusion Web UI. And to use this, all you need to do is just click on this little arrow right here to show this new control net option called Instant underscore ID. Now the way you use Instant ID inside the Web UI is a little different compared to any other control net models. Because exactly as in the standalone Web UI, where you add two different fields to upload the two different images, you basically have the same exact thing inside the Stable Diffusion Web UI. So to use Instant ID, all you need to do is first you're gonna upload the face of the person that you want to clone, then make sure that this checkbox is enabled, then here under control type you're gonna select Instant ID, then under preprocessor you're gonna select Instant ID face embedding, and for the model, very very important, the first model that you need to choose combined with face embedding is the IP adapter model. So then here under control weight, exactly as with the standalone version, where here for the identity net, the higher the number, the closer and more realistic the final image will be compared to the reference image. So then here you can play a little bit with the control weight. So I'm gonna use the same value as the standalone web UI, which was 0.8, but you can put it a lower or higher if you want like a more realistic image, then you can leave everything else by default. So the next, to basically replicate the second field where you input a reference pose image, we're actually gonna use another control net model at the same time as the first one. So now you're gonna click on control net unit one, then here you can either draw the same image as we use right here, or use another image that will take inspiration from the pose. So like for example, I'm gonna use this image, then again make sure that this checkbox is enabled, 
enabled, then here on the control type, you're going to select instant ID. For the preprocessor, this time you're going to choose the instant ID phase key points. And for the model, you're going to use the control instant ID SDXL. Then same as the last one, you're going to decrease the control weight a little bit. And then you can leave everything else by default. So now if you see correctly, we have two different control net models running at the exact same time. So now that this is done, we're going to start crafting our prompt. But before we do that, make sure that you select the right stable diffusion model. Because indeed, not all stable diffusion models will work with instant ID. Because as of right now, only stable diffusion Excel models will work with instant ID. Now here for this example, I'm going to be using the Juggernaut Excel V8 model, a model that I showed you in a previous video, which is really like a fantastic stable diffusion Excel model, really good for creating very realistic images. And actually, I'm going to use the same prompt for the generation. So I'm going to paste the prompt right here as well as the negative prompt right here, modify the prompt a little bit, then choose a sampler. In my case, we'll simply use the Euler Ancestral, 30 sampling steps, then choose the resolution. Then don't forget that since you are using the Stable Diffusion Excel model to generate decent images, you need at least a 1024 by 1024 resolution image, but you can of course put more. And then finally, if you are using Instant ID, do not forget to decrease the CFG scale between 3 and 5. This is the recommended amount. So for this image, I'm simply going to use 4. And now that this is done, now that everything is enabled, we can finally generate our image. And there you go. This is what we have in the end. So as you saw, we started with this base image that basically took the information of the face, then kind of merged it with the pose of the second image, combined with our prompt to create this brand new image. And all of that without any training from basically a single picture in only a few seconds. And all of that inside the Stable Diffusion Web UI. I mean, that's fantastic. That's really cool. And now since you are inside the Web UI, you can do everything you want, then send it to image to image, do some in painting, upscale the image, and everything in between. Really, the sky is the limit. Oh, and also, if you want to speed up the generation and you want to make images a little bit faster, instead of using normal Stable Diffusion Excel models, you can actually use models based on the Stable Diffusion Excel Turbo, which is basically like a Stable Diffusion Excel model, but optimized for faster generation by using a lower amount of sampling steps. Where previously before on a normal Stable Diffusion Excel model, you would use like 20 or 30 steps. With Stable Diffusion Excel Turbo models, for very similar results, you would use a sampling steps between 5 and 10, which would make the generation much, much faster. And to find those models, you can simply go on to AI, click on Filters, then scroll down, and then filter by every model based on the Stable Diffusion Excel Turbo. And there you go, all of these models are based on the Stable Diffusion Excel Turbo. So like for example, if I choose this one, the Dream Shaper Excel, then I'm going to click on download. So once I downloaded the model, I'm going to select it, then I'm going to cut it. Then inside my Stable Diffusion Web UI folder, I'm going to go to Models, Stable Diffusion, and then I'm going to put the model right here. Then in the Web UI, I'm going to click this little icon to refresh the list for the models. Then select the Dream Shaper Excel Turbo. So then I'm going to copy the generation data from this image that I really like. So copy generation data. Then I'm going to put this right here. Then click on this little icon that will automatically change and complete the parameters. Where here, previously we had a simply steps of 30. And now with the new model, we only have 7 in a CFG scale of 2. Just going to change the resolution a little bit, a random seed. And then I'm going to click on Generate. And we get something like like this, which is really just fantastic. And this image was generated in like less than 10 seconds, which is really super impressive. So yeah, there you go. Now you have Instant ID inside the Stable Diffusion Web UI. And although I still like to use the standalone Web UI, you cannot deny that having everything inside the Stable Diffusion Web UI makes the overall workflow way smoother. And I'm sure that in the near future, this tech will become even better and easier to use. Also, do not forget that if you have any issues with the installation or with the software, I provide priority support for my Patreon support so if you have any questions whatsoever, you could send me a DM and I will try to answer your question as quickly as possible. So that being said, definitely try this out yourself and have some fun. And there we have it folks, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also so much to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos, you guys are absolutely awesome. You people are the reason why I'm able to make these videos, so thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time, bye bye.